Welcome to the Wachovia Center. And now taking the field, the visiting team, the Los Angeles Avengers. Philadelphia is lined up for the kickoff. Ingram back deep to return. Kickoff return 12 yards. Ingram on the return. First and 10. Ball on the 13 yard line. Ingram on the reception, gain of eight on the play. Second and two, ball on the 20 yard line. Fumble on the play. Get over here. Yeah, now listen to me. You gotta get the ball back. Get out there and kick some butt. First and ten, ball on the 17-yard line. Move it, move it. Incomplete pass, Brown, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten, ball on the 17-yard line. Balls incomplete. Brown, the intended receiver, on the play. Third and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. Come on, come on. Ball, ball. Man, oh man. Philadelphia is lined up for the kickoff. Ingram back to return. Kickoff return 12 yards. Ingram on the return. First and 10. Ball on the 12 yard line. Yeah. 
The extra point attempt is good. Los Angeles is lined up for the kickoff. Knight back deep to return. Kickoff return 15 yards. Knight on the return. Philadelphia will start the drive at the 16 yard line. First and 10. First and ten, all on the 13 yard line. Knight makes the reception, gain of two on the play. Second and eight, all on the 12 yard line. Scott makes the catch. Gain of eight on the play. Third and inches. All on the three yard line. The extra point attempt is good. Philadelphia is lined up for the kickoff. Ingram back to return. Kickoff return 10 yards. Ingram on the return. First and 10. Ball on the 11 yard line. Los Angeles is lined up for the kickoff. Not back deep to return.
Kickoff returns to nine yards. Knight on the return. Philadelphia will start the drive at the nine yard line. First and 10. Knight with the reception. Five yard gain on the play. Second and five. Ball on the 14 yard line. receiver on the play. Third and five. Ball on the 14-yard line. Twisting by defensive line, number 74, first down. First and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Twisted by defensive line, number 74, first down. First and 10, ball on the 24-yard line. Philadelphia is lined up for the kickoff. Ingram back deep to return. Kickoff return 10 yards. Ingram on the return. First and 10. All on the 10 yard line. On the carry, gain of 12 on the play. First and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. Push the line. Lock makes the reception. Seven-yard gain on the play. Yeah, you felt that? You want some fries to go in that shape? Ball on the 20 yard line. Move it, move it. QB won't get off next time. That won't happen again. Damn, I told him not to bring it up. Hold him Third and 
six. Ball on the 23-yard line. Los Angeles is lined up for the kickoff. Knight back deep to return. Kickoff return 13 yards. Knight on the return. They'll take over at the 13 yard line. First and 10. Pass interference, number two. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 19 yard line. The extra point attempt is good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Incomplete pass. Knight, the intended receiver, on the play. Third and goal. Ball on the 12 yard line. You know I'm the best. You know I'm the best. Thank you. Yeah, baby. I'm the best. Give me some. Calls a timeout. First and goal. Ball on the eight yard line. Timeout called by the offense. Second and goal. Ball on the three yard line. Take it down. Keep going. The extra point attempt is good. Los Angeles is lined up for the kickoff. Knight back to return. The kickoff goes through the end zone for a touchback. First and ten. Ball on the five yard line. Dukes on the carry. One yard gain on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the five yard line. At the end of the first half, the score is tied.
Kickoff return 12 yards. Knight on the return. First and 10. Ball on the 12 yard line. Second and 14. Ball on the eight yard line. Make some moves. Make some moves. The pass falls incomplete. Brown, the intended receiver, on the play. Third and 14. Ball on the eight yard line. Twisted by the defensive line, number 74, first down. First and 10, ball on the 13 yard line. Incomplete pass. Brown, the intended receiver, on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 13 yard line. The extra point attempt is good. Philadelphia is lined up for the kickoff. Ingram back deep to return. Kickoff return 12 yards. Ingram on the return. They'll start the drive at the 12 yard line. First and 10. Shake it, uh, shake it, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I'm sorry. The extra point attempt is good. Los Angeles is lined up for the kickoff. Knight back deep to return. The kickoff goes through the end zone for a touchback. First and 10, all on the five yard line. Scott makes the reception. Gain of six on the play. 
Second and four. Ball on the 11 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The pass falls incomplete. Brown, the intended receiver, on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Incomplete pass. Knight, the intended receiver, on the play. Third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Move it, move it. Twist it. By defensive line, number 74. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Brown makes the catch. Gain of eight on the play. Second and two. Ball on the 12 yard line. We gotta stop the sack. Yeah, sack. Our bad QB. Sack, buddy. Third and six. Ball on the 16 yard line. Linebacker, outside the box, number 25, first down. First and 10, ball on the 11 yard line. At the end of the third quarter, the score is tied. Knight on the reception, five-yard gain on the play. Second and five, all on the six-yard line. Brown makes the reception, no gain on the play. On the reception, one yard loss on the play. Philadelphia is lined up for the kickoff. 
Ingram back to return. Los Angeles is lined up for the kickoff. Knight back deep to return. Kickoff return 20 yards. Knight on the return. We roll! Did you see that? Philadelphia will start the drive at the 21-yard line. First and 10. Keep it tight. Knight makes the catch. Gain of two on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 22-yard line. Good. 
Los Angeles is lined up for the kickoff. Knight back to return. Kickoff return 16 yards. Knight on the return. They'll take over at the 16 yard line. First and 10. Philadelphia is lined up for the kickoff. Ingram back to return. Timeout called by the offense. They'll take over at the 15 yard line. First and 10. Hopkins makes the reception. Five-yard gain on the play. Ingram with the reception. Gain of 20 on the play. Timeout called by the defense. First and goal. Ball on the nine yard line. Ford on the run. Loss of two on the play. The offense calls a timeout. A timeout called by the defense.
Caution brought to you by proud sponsor of the AFL and your stop for all things football. Champ Sports, where sport lives. Okay, here's the thing. Arena football is intense, fast-paced, and hard-hitting. Before you run out there without your chin strap fastened, I'm going to show you how to use and understand all the information available to you through the telemetry systems. Let's start on the field. This is the telemetry icon. It gives you a clear indication of the player's fatigue levels through the ramping color scale. Red, of course, is very bad. Fatigue is a good way to measure how well a guy is going to do his job. An exhausted player will be noticeably worse than he would be otherwise, whether it's blocking, throwing, running, catching, or in coverage. So how do you use it? Well, you can use the controls for a view of your own team with a quick flick here, or both teams like this. Either way will allow you to see the telemetry for the remainder of the game. However, a meter will drain just a bit when you choose to view both teams. But don't worry too much, the same meter will recharge eventually. Don't want to give you everything. All right, now for the real beast. Play call telemetry. There are three categories of info you can get from the play call screen. Activate the telemetry feature like this, and you can cycle through the various screens. You can use this info to fill your on-field strategies. First, we'll go over the detailed fatigue screen. During a game, certain activities will fatigue certain attributes. Running will fatigue a player's speed. Getting hit hard or sack will rattle a player's awareness. Constantly breaking tackles will wear down a guy's ability to break tackles. You get the point. This is displayed in the telemetry by the player's thermal silhouettes. Each body part is representing an attribute or a combination of attributes depending upon their position. The hands on a quarterback will reflect his throwing accuracy, and the hands on a wide receiver will reflect his catching ability. Some things are the same. Legs on everyone is generally speed, and the head portion reflects awareness. I'm not gonna go over all the details here. Most of it's common sense. The most important part here is that you can individually view each person on your team as well as their position in the current formation and their assignment in the current selected play. This is a good way to see where your line will likely break down and which receiver is your best bet for a completed pass. Next on our list is the passing tendencies diagram. From here, you can see the precise locations of each pass thrown by the current offense, yours or your opponent's. Each dot represents a pass and its relative distance from the line of scrimmage wherever on the field that may be. Light blue is a completion. Yellow is an incomplete pass. Red, my favorite, is an interception. Finally, on to the successful score location. Displayed on the field representation is a line marking each position where the line of scrimmage was when a score was made. Dark blue colored lines are passing touchdowns. Light blue colored lines are rushing touchdowns. Yellow colored lines are field goals. Okay, that's about it. Remember, information is knowledge, and knowledge is power. The more information you can get about you and your opponent, the more power you will have to move forward, make the right decisions, and get the W. Now go play some smart football. This bruising hit is brought to you by Champ Sports, where sport lives. Welcome to the AFL, the All Fun League. On behalf of all the owners, players, coaches, and staff in the Arena Football family, I want to thank you for your support. You know, the goal of the AFL is to be the most fan-friendly league in all the world. And that's why this is your team and the AFL is your league. In recognition of your support, all of our players and cheerleaders would like to express their appreciation to you by signing autographs after the game on the field. For more information, you can log on to arenafootball.com. And thanks so much for being the greatest fans in all the world. This crushing hit is brought to you by Champ Sports, where sport lives. We're going to go over a few things that make arena football a fast-paced and exciting game. Let's start by talking about the arena you're playing in. The AFL field is 50 yards long and surrounded by dasher boards on all four sides. The dasher boards are considered inbounds. A ball carrier in contact with the boards is still considered in. 
There are four hash marks on the field. The ball will always be spotted on the closest hash mark to where the ball was considered down. If down in the center, the ball is spotted on the left or the right, depending upon the throwing arm of the quarterback. The end zones are backed by the tall, bold side rebound nets. A ball rebounding off the net from a kick or a pass is considered a live ball and open for reception by either team. The uprights in the AFL are narrow. A field goal can be kicked from any point on the field. There is no putting in the AFL. However, any kick that falls short of the upright or the net can be returned. Now let's talk about the players and the positions. An AFL team has eight players on the field that play Iron Man style. They play both offense and defense. Strict substitution rules are also implemented in the spirit of Iron Man football. Specialists can only be substituted once per half, and two-way players can only be substituted once per quarter. Any player that has been substituted is considered dead and cannot come back to play until his time is up. You'll notice the movement when the ball is snapped. That's okay. In the AFL, one of the wide receivers may be in motion as long as he isn't